Just a few days ago, Blackmagic Design released an update to their super popular DaVinci Resolve software. 18.1 brought a number of new and improved features, including things like templates for vertical video, improved export presets for YouTube and other social media, and a host of new features for the Fairlight audio page. But I want to talk about probably one of the best new tools that's ever been included in DaVinci Resolve. This isn't the most exciting of features when you first look at it, but it does have the potential to save you absolutely hours of work, or more importantly, save you from a complete and utter disaster. I'm talking about voice isolation. This is basically a super duper version of noise reduction. The software using artificial intelligence is able to isolate the voice and reduce the background soundtrack or the background noise as it is, leaving behind a nice crystal clear voice. And it does it incredibly well. Now to demonstrate, I'm gonna switch on a vacuum cleaner that I've got down here. And if you don't know anything about sound recording, then number one on the professional sound recorders checklist is don't record your audio while somebody's vacuuming in the same room as you. But with the click of a button in the edit, this background noise can be completely taken away. No more annoying sound. Well, for you, not for me, because I can still hear it. Of course, this is a completely unrealistic situation, but you can imagine how this would be useful. Things like traffic noise, aircraft noise, or even the rustling of leaves on a windy day can be completely removed from your sound recording. And it's super simple to use. In the inspector, you simply turn it on and pick how strong you want the effect to be. If you want to keep a little noise for realism, you can dial it down from 100%. Or if you want everything gone, you can leave it at 100%. Although your voice might start to sound a little bit robotic as the background noise frequencies and the frequencies of your voice can start to overlap. Now, I would never rely on this tool 100%. You don't want to become lazy and be that person who's like, yeah, we'll just leave that ceiling fan on. We can take it out in post. It's always best to do things the correct way and gives yourself less hassle in the long run. But if you're in a pinch and you have to record in a less than ideal situation, this feature could be an absolute lifesaver. And it's amazing to think that this is the first iteration of this feature. Just how much better is it going to get as AI improves in the future? Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you around. Tra.